guys, I'm finally back. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, that really hurt my throat. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you like my nighttime routine for a Sunday evening. I'm trying to pick myself back up in time for the next coming week of school. And my room's a mess. I'm ill. And I don't know how I'm going to get through this next week. And it hasn't even started yet. I need to get up, organise this room and then later on today because it's a sunday we're having a roast dinner which i'm really excited about i love roast dinners <laughs> my hair today and i've just let it dry so i'm gonna put it up so i can work and then once i finish working i'm gonna like probably straighten it for this school week because i either straighten it or curl it on the first day okay we're not gonna look at my hair okay i have this huge clothing pile and i'm gonna do this first because it's been sitting in my room for like two weeks i can't even lie it's just been accumulating clothes slowly so okay i've done that pile, that pile actually didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to take me. I thought it was going to take me a good like 15 minutes. It literally took me five. Oh my God, I need to put this, I'm going to go put this bin in the actual bin. A bin bag the size of my head in my room, full to the brim and it needs to go outside. So I'm going to go do that. Okay, back inside. Okay, bin liner is outside. My throat's hurting so I'm going to go get another drink and while I'm going down I'm taking down all the cups in my room work smart not harder you know cheers I have a hot water bottle from last night or the night before I need to empty this and I'll probably use this again tonight because it's always nice to have one you know what I mean this is really uncomfortable I can't lie I'm gonna change my sheets because I wasn't planning to change my sheets but I think I'm gonna do it actually the rest of my room's looking a lot more clean which is good my sheets and I've hoovered my room and I've tidied my room in general and I've just put my pyjamas out so when I come up from having dinner I can just get changed really quickly and then I can go into like full relaxation mode um, before school and I'll probably end up packing my bag before I go to sleep today because I normally do that especially on a Sunday night because it just makes Mondays so much less stressful. I'm now back from my dinner so I'm going to get changed and then I'll probably do a face mask and sort my hair out and then I'll probably go to bed. Okay, so I'm changed now, as you can see. And I'm just gonna pack my like lessons tomorrow so that I know that that's done. I have a free tomorrow, but I have no idea what I wanna do in that free yet. So I haven't packed anything for that free. But if I wanna pack something tomorrow morning, then I'll pack it then. Okay, so now my bag's packed and I've just gone into my bathroom and I've washed my face. So now I'm going to do a face mask out here because um, the light in my bathroom's not working properly because um, it needs new batteries. So I'm just going to do it out here and then rinse it off in the bathroom. After I've done my face mask and washed it off, I'm going to put my hair into the overnight um, heatless curls in your dressing gown. My dressing gown um, rope thing here. So I'm going to do that after. I'm going to use this which is zinc oxide cream mask and then after i've used that i'm going to use this which is for your under eyes i can already tell this is going to be so messy okay now that i'm looking like an egg i'm ready to start in a while just because they're so messy i'm gonna wash this off my hand and then start my timer Now I'm going to do this simple illuminating under eye hydrogel mask, things like that. Um, and this needs to go on for five minutes. I don't really use these often. You really can't see 
that well because they're transparent but I have them on my under eyes and I'm just going to leave them for five minutes. I'm just going to leave the things under my eyes for five minutes while I start doing my hair and then I'll take them off once I've done my hair. halfway point get that halfway point put it in the middle of your head and then clip it in place tie up one side of your head i'm gonna get this which is tame and shine i use the cream version when my hair's wet and then this version when my hair's dry but you can use this on wet or dry hair and i'm about to dampen my hair in a minute as well so it won't like undo what it's doing if you get what i mean because this works on wet and dry hair my lighting's bad but basically my hair's like quite wavy which means that it goes really frizzy when I brush it out so I'm just using some of this I'm just gonna take these off because it's been five minutes now when you take this out it should stay there we go i'm just gonna do the last step of my skincare routine which is this ordinary niacinamide um serum i can feel the dot i've got two dots that's it now i finished my skincare routine i'm just gonna go put a little bit of water on my hair and then apart from that i'm gonna get into bed probably read a few pages of the book i'm reading at the moment and then I'll probably head to bed. I think it's so important to give yourself a self-care night every week at least. So dedicate a day or an evening or a couple of hours if you don't have that much time to just looking after yourself. Make sure your area that you're living in is clean. Make sure that you're clean. And make sure that you're happy and doing things that you enjoy because if you're not, then you're not gonna be in the right mindset. So I always use my Sundays to relax and do things that I enjoy doing so that on the Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and the rest of the week I'm more focused and I can get the stuff done I need to get done because I've had the time to relax and I don't feel like I'm non-stop always going. Thank you for watching this far if you have done. My top tip is if you're not feeling motivated to do anything, go and watch TikTok videos on doing motivating things or YouTube videos on doing motivated things. And I just find myself feeling in the right mood to actually do things. And especially when you're ill or sick like me, I just really didn't want to move or do much at all. But this has actually really helped me and I feel like I'm in a better place now than I was at the start of this video. And I can go to sleep and wake up and have a really good day tomorrow. Bye.